morning. Welcome to your Friday morning yoga. There's a tiny bit of a, I think we're okay. Everything is good. Uh, might hear some dinging, that's fine. Um, just before we get started, I'm going to start some music up. So give me a half a moment. We'll wait for everybody to uh, get set up. Technical issues. I'll be there in one moment. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> this is actually a really good sort of intro to uh, what the theme today is. Um, when I was uh, when I was uh, going through my photos this morning and I was editing one of them, there was one of a uh, stream going through a forest that was just all tumbled with broken down uh, limbs and whatnot. And all I could think of is how, because we're so under stimulated right now, being at home, not doing all that much, we're, we're sinking into our minds and our, our, and our imagination and our brains are becoming more and more um, stimulated, and uh, and uh, we, we we have to try and negotiate this like a like a labyrinth. So today, I, I want to do a class that incorporates a lot of these ideas of, of twisting and turning, and uh, maybe crawling through the, the the leaves and the branches, or flitting through the, the branches in the sky. Uh, uh, just trying to negotiate our way through this, this jumble in our, in our mind. So as we go through this, just allow your, your, your mind to, to completely relax. Don't, don't concentrate on any one thing. Just allow your thoughts to come and go, emotions to come and go. Uh, just be with the practice today and have a little bit of fun with this practice. So with that, let's begin on our back and settling into our breath. Soft breaths. Eyes closed, just imagining ourselves in this forest scape. Perhaps a cool breeze drifting across our bodies. Same breeze causing small sounds in the old rustling leaves, branches tapping against each other. On your next inhale, extend your hands to the back of the room and your feet towards the front. Inhale for a long length, wakening your body. Exhale and sink into your mat. Inhale and reach and hold and stretch. And exhale, release. On your next inhale, bend your knees and cross your right ankle over your left knee. And then allow your right foot to drift off to the left until it touches the ground. Keep your shoulders on the ground, just allowing for a gentle stretch in your right side. Just breathing and feeling those small movements. Inhale back to center, 
wrap your right leg tightly around your left into eagle legs, and then allow your legs to drift off to the, to the right. Feeling the stretch in your left side. Twisting your legs tightly together. Constricting the blood flow. Inhale back to center. Switch your legs, left angle over your right knee, and then allow your legs to drift off to the right until your left foot is on the ground. And again, inhaling from length and left side of your body, just beginning to negotiate this, this maze of our body. Inhale back to center, wrap your legs tightly around each other and allow your legs to drift off to the left. Keeping a tight, tight, tight wrap on your legs. Inhale back to center. Switch again, right ankle over your left knee. Wrap, take your right hand between your legs and interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. Keep your left knee bent and open your right knee gently with your elbow as your left leg eases your shin closer and closer to your shoulders. Inhale, release, switch your legs. Interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Gently allow your shin to make its way to your shoulders. Inhale, back to center, unravel your legs, keep your knees bent, or if you wish to go a little bit deeper into your practice, legs straight, hands out to your sides. And then as you exhale, allow your feet to drift off to the right, left hip lifted. Feet lowering towards the ground. If you need to modify it, bend your knees, keep your legs straight. Inhale, back to center, always inhaling to center, exhaling. Off to the side. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale to center. This time bend your knees, shins parallel with the mat, hands behind your head. Just Tuck your chin in, elbows working towards each other. Then exhale your right elbow past your left knee towards the front left corner of the room. And switch. 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 Switch, switch, one more each side. Elbows together, head back down to the ground. Straighten your legs up. Wrap your hands around your legs. Legs straight, toes pointed straight back. Sit bones rolling down towards the ground. As you exhale, more space in your core and hip flexors Hug your knees a little bit tighter.
and release your legs, take your feet as wide as your mat, hands together, point your fingers, reaching up, interlacing your fingers, exhale, curl all the way up, reach between your legs, now lower your legs halfway, if you need to modify, bend your knees, and hump here for a count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, keep pumping to the right, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, back to center, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, to the left, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, back to center, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, hug your knees. Roll to your right side and make your way up through a comfortable seated position to tabletop. Knees a little bit behind your hips, wrists a little bit in front of your shoulders. As you inhale, extend your right hand up to the sky, then exhale, weave it down and underneath as you bend your left elbow, right ear comes down to the ground. Inhale, right hand reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, weave down and under. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, weave down. Inhale, extend all the way up, hand comes back to center. Left hand reaches for the sky. Exhale, weave down and underneath. Left ear to the ground. Hold here for a moment. Inhale, left hand reaches up. Exhale, weave down and under. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, weave down and under. Inhale, stand up. And then place your hand down at the front. Curl your toes under. Hips up and back, downward dog. Walk your dog in. Feel the weight of your body and your fingers here. As the first turns and twists in this labyrinth that we call our practice has been negotiated and settled into your dog. <coughs> to pull your feet just a little bit forward and take your feet as wide as your mat. Right hand reaches for your left shin or calf or all the way down to your heel. As you exhale, deepen into your left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, switch. Inhale, back to center, walk your dog back. <laughs> Make sure it's flipping all around me. It's very distracting. Round your back deeply. 
and shift your weight forward, high plank. And tuck your chin in, press your heart up towards the ceiling, and wave through your spine all the way back, downward dog, exhaling as you go. Inhale, wave, round forward, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Forward, high plank. Feel the weight in your fingers as you move, rotating your shoulders. Exhale back, downward dog. And tiptoe in front of your mouth. Forward fold. Slowly roll all the way to stand. Lift your shoulders. Integrate your shoulder blades, palms forward. And breathe. Inhale, arms sweep all the way up. Through heart center, fold all the way forward. Halfway lift. Left leg steps to the back of your mat. I'm switching, so I'm facing the same way as you guys. Back knee lowers to the ground. Hands to the top of your thigh as you lunge forward, sinking deep into the hip flexor on the left side. Right hand comes down to the ground, fingertips just touching the ground. Maybe your whole palm can reach, I'm not sure. That's your obvious choice. Left hand extends up. Keep your hips square as you trace your left fingers across to the right side. Inhale both hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, left hand down to the ground. Right hand stays up. Both hands extend up to the ceiling. Begin to hinge forward. Both hands frame the front of your foot or your front foot. Straighten your right leg. Stack your left hip over your knee as your right toes lift to the ceiling, scissor your hips strongly, and fold. Begin to walk yourself forward, lunging into your right knee. Take both hands off the left side of your mat, Keep your knee over your middle toe. Hips shift backwards. Then begin to bow towards the ground. Always inhaling to shift your hips back. Walk your hands, frame your front foot, step back, high plank, lower down, halfway, rolling over the tops of your feet, keeping your shoulders pressed away from your ears. Then allow your knees to touch the ground, hips to touch the ground, press into your hands. Upward dog. Curl your toes under, float your hips off the ground, shift your hips up and back, downward dog. I am going to switch sides again, it's on the same side as you guys. Left leg raises high. Round your back, take your knee to your nose. Step between your hands as your right knee lowers to the ground. Hands to the top of your thigh and lunge. Mm -hmm. 
Begin to straighten your front leg. Stack your left right hip over your knee. Left leg straightens and fold. Walk your hands forward, lunge into your front knee, take your hands off the mat. Again, inhale, shift your hips back. You can feel your shoulders lower at the same time. Then walk your hands forward as you begin to bow. Acknowledging being aware of your front knee over your middle toe. Inhale, free your front foot. Step to the front of your mat. Forward fold. Toes together. Heels slightly apart. Knees together. Begin to sit deep into your chair. Hands lift to heart center. Toes are lifted. Weight is in your heels. All these movements is like twisting and turning through these branches. Trying to make our way through this maze. Forward fold. Inhale, hinge the hips as your arms reverse swan dive all the way to the ceiling. Let's move. Exhale, forward fold. There's an opening in this maze as we can move a little bit quicker. Maybe we're getting a little bit. Anxious, plant your hands, flow back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Losing our weight makes everybody anxious. Bend your knees and your elbows, float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Forward fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Upward dog, downward dog. Bend your knees and your elbows, float forward. Inhale, halfway lift, forward fold. Sweep all the way up, toes together. Heels slightly apart, palms come together, hands to heart center. And we hit a bit of a block in our pants. Negotiating our way. Begin to sit deep into your chair again. Belly is tucked in. Hips rolling down. Inhale your right elbow to the front. Exhale, cross over your left knee. Press into your palms. Inhale, back to center, forward fold. Hook your peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale for length, and exhale as your elbows bend out to the sides. Crown of the head works towards the tops of your feet. Inhale, release, halfway lift. Palms come together. Thumbs to heart center. Sit deep into your chair. Left elbow extends out. And exhale to cross over your right knee. Always lowering your hips. Bringing your heart above your hips. Inhale, back to center, halfway lift. Then take your whole hand under the front of your feet, your toes tickling, your wrist creases. And as you exhale, rotate your elbows to the front of the room as you lower down your well eye. Inhale. 
Inhale, release. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Sweep all the way up. And the heart center. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Plant your hands. Float back. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Right leg raises high. Bend your knee. Stack your hips open. Inhale back. Three legged dog. Toes come down together. Roll onto the outside edge of your right foot as your left hand extends up to the sky. Side plank. Feel the weight in your right fingers. Inhale back to downward dog. And hold as you exhale. Right leg raises to the sky. Bend your knee. Stack your hips. Maybe flip your dog. Inhale back, three-legged dog. Right knee to the left elbow. I'm going to switch. Right foot to the left wall. Roll to the inside edge of your right left foot. Left hand to the sky. And float your right leg off the ground if it's in your practice. Flip back, three-legged dog. Three legged chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog. Awesome. Left leg raises high. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Three legged dog. Toes come down together, roll on to the outside edge of your left foot. Side plank. High plank to downward dog. Left leg raises high. Bend your knee, stack your hips, flip your dog. Three legged dog. Left knee to right elbow. Left foot to the right wall. Inside edge of your right foot. Right hand extends up on your left leg. Three legged dog. Three legged chaturanga. Upward dog. Child's pose. And breathe. And walk your hands forward. Lift your hips up and back. Downward dog. Bend your knees and your elbows. Float to the front of your mat. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Toes together. Heels slightly apart. Roll. Always stand. Arms sweep up. And heart center. Press your palms together. Right leg lifts. Open to the side. Stack your right foot. Either tripod on your calf or on your thigh, but not on your knee.
Inhale, close your knee up. Reach to the front of the room. Sweep all the way through. Keep folding, hands to the ground. You can take one hand to your ankle, maybe both. Forward fold. Roll all the way up. Hands extend up. Dark center. Left knee lifts. Opens to the side. Stop your left foot on your right leg. There are times. When we can't find our way through force, we have to find that delicate balance. Extend your left leg to the front. Sweep through. Keep folding. Hands to the ground. One hand, maybe two, on your ankle. Forward fold. Slowly roll all the way to stand. Arms keep up. Hands tuck the center. Right knee lifts. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Open your knee downwards. And begin to sit. As you lift up, left foot, right foot drops to the outside of your left foot, crossing your legs, arms sweep up, forward fold. Halfway lift as you unravel your legs, forward fold. Roll all the way to stand. Arms above your head. To heart center, left knee lifts, crosses your right knee. And left foot ankle crosses your right knee. And begin to sit. Allow your left foot to drop to the outside of your right arm, sweep up, forward fold, a twist, or around your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, unravel your legs, forward fold, sweep all the way up, hands to heart center, forward fold. Halfway left. Right leg steps to the back of your mat. Keep your back knee floating to your practice. Both hands to the top of your thigh and lunge. Use this connection to become more secure. This is all balancing between three branches as you negotiate the tops of the trees. Lower your hands to the inside of your right foot, left foot. Lower your back heel to the ground. Walk your hands off your mat. Again, being aware of your front knee over your middle toe. Shift your hips back, lower down. As you walk your hands back up and frame your front foot, and walk your left foot across your mat, lower your knee down to the ground. 
bend your right knee, reach back for your foot, and if it's in your practice, slide it up your forearm to your elbow crease, fingers pointing towards the sky. If it's in your practice, reach your left hand up, clasp your fingers. For a version of King Pigeon. Hug your heel in tight. Release your right leg and fold. Feel the opening in your hip here. And allow yourself to sink into this. As though resting in a soft pile of leaves and a softer ground underneath. Inhale, walk your hands up. Take your left elbow to the sole of your foot. Begin to square your hips to the ground and then extend your right hand up to the sky. Inhale back to center and take your right elbow to the outside of your right knee. And left hand is up to the sky or around your back. Inhale back to center. Draw your right knee up behind your left knee. Begin to sit down between your feet, stacking your knee on your knee. Hugging your heels in tight here and fold. Continue to fold here, or come all the way back up, square your right shin to the front of your mat, and hover your left knee over your right knee. Keep your knees hip bone distance apart. And fold. Inhale, walk your body up. Lower your right sole of your foot to the ground. Keep your left knee up close. You can do many different things. You can stay right here. Just gently open your knee. You can wrap your arms around your leg, lifting it, cradling it. You can wrap your arms underneath. Maybe take your palms to your ears. Yogi's choice. Wherever you are, just feel that beautiful, elegant opening in your left hand. And release both legs extend to the front of the room. Release your sit bones. Straighten and lengthen through the spine 
and notice. I notice. My left leg seems longer than my right right now. It's very weird. And then exhale as you fold. Inhale, walk all the way up. Curl your feet in. Hands in front of your legs. Lean into your fingers as you float back. Upward dog. Downward dog. Right leg raises high to the sky. Round your back. Step between your hands as your hands come to the top of your thigh and lunge. And take your hands to the inside of your mat. Off to the left, back heel over to the ground. Just shift your hips backwards and fold. Walk your hands up, back to center, and walk your right leg across your mat. Bend your left knee, clasp your foot, if it's in your practice. Maybe it slides up to your elbow crease. Maybe you clasp your fingers. And release your foot and hold. Walk your hands up and take your right elbow to the sole of your foot as you lift your left hand up to the sky. You can wrap it around your back if you wish, wherever you are. Inhale back to center and take your left elbow to the other side of your knee. Or as deep as you can go as your right hand extends up to the sky or around your back. Inhale, back to center. Draw your left knee in behind your right knee. Hug your heels as close to your body as possible as you sit down. And fold. Stay here or come up, stack your shins. Then 
be aware of your knees, no wider than your sit bones. Your foot should be floating in the air. And Inhale, come all the way up. Extend your feet to the front. And notice how both legs seem to be the same length again. And fold. Inhale, walk your body up. Cross your heels. Float back, Chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Left leg raises high to the sky. Knee to nose. Step between your hands. Float your back leg up off the ground. I'm going to face the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. Fold your right knee in behind your left knee and extend your right foot to the left side. Take your peace fingers, your left hand, clasp your floating toes. And as you begin to sit down, straighten your right leg out to the left as you walk your right hand and to the side. Inhale, come all the way back up. Forward fold. Left leg stands up. Fold your knee, behind your knee. Right fist fingers around your toe, peace fingers around your toe. Straighten that leg as you begin to sit down. Inhale, all the way up. Forward fold. Roll all the way to stand. And stand up. And now it's such a Arms sweep all the way up. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Roll all the way up. Okay. Now for a little bit of fun. Lift your right knee, cross it over your left, or cross your right ankle over your left knee. Go figure four. Begin to sit. Take your triceps to your shins. If it's in your practice, slide your arms down your shins as high onto your arms as possible. Wrap, wrap your right toes tightly around your left arm. Walk your hands forward. Lean into your hands. Maybe. So your left toes off the ground. Continue your practice, straighten your back leg. Come back down. And slowly, come all the way to stand. Inhale. Sweep all the way up. And start center. Flying pigeon. Wow.
Inhale, sweep all the way up. And start at center. Left ankle crosses your right knee. Begin to sit. Begin to lower down. Wrap your toes tight around your right arm. Lean into your hands. And if it's in your practice, lean until you float. Back down, forward fold. Come down to Malasana. Lower onto your knees. Child's fault. Recenter yourself. Now, we've done flying pigeon, we've done baby grasshopper, we've done a lot of different exercises and stretches to prepare ourselves for full grasshopper. Let's take it to where we can. And just imagine ourselves that cool spring before us. Inhale, walk your hands up. I'm just debating which way I want to take you guys into this. I think we'll do it from standing. So, make your way to a standing posture in front of your mat. Hands to heart center. Right ankle over your left knee. As you lower down, bending your left knee, take your right elbow to the inside of the right sole of your foot. <laughs> I'm going to have a challenge with this today. Okay. I'm going to do some seated. You guys can stay standing or come down and seated. And take your arm to the inside. Plant your hands to the side. If you're in standing, begin to lean into your hands. If you're seated, Lift your head up and then maybe float with your back leg. I can't do it today. And come back down. Forward fold or seated, just hug your knees. Wow. Ordinary yogis. Doing ordinary yoga. And if you're standing, roll all the way to the top. Take your left ankle over your right knee. If you're seated, take your foot across your knee. Standing, elbows to shins. Seated. Everyone, hand to the inside of your foot. I, I can't do this today. So, those that can, take full grasshopper. Everybody else, just take your foot off to the side and hug your shit. I'm, uh, I'm way tight today. another day we will do this and I'll be able to uh, to demonstrate for you. Inhale back to center. Both legs extend in. I 
I hope that was going to go with it. <laughs> and forward fold. Slowly roll up. Take the soles of your feet together. Heels close to your body, knees working towards the ground. Crown of the head lifts up. Then fold your belly button towards your toes. As you fold forward. Inhale slowly all the way up and roll onto your back. Right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. And imagine. We have escaped that maze. We're out in a field. The new light green grass, grass tickling their skin and the warmth of the sun teasing. And extend your legs long, heels as wide as your mat, arms to your sides, shoulders walk under your body. One deep inhale and release. Free from the congestion of our thoughts. Free from the confines of our body. Free from the torments of our emotions. Your next inhale, reach your hands towards the back, your feet together towards the front. And then inhale for a long stretch, holding at the top of your breath. And open your mouth and sigh out slowly. And inhale and reach and stretch. And hold. And with a quick exhalation, release. One more time. Inhale. Release. Ah. On your next inhale, bend your knees and roll to your right side. And make your way up to a comfortable cross-legged position. Hands in your lap, palms up.
for the rest of today. Stay free of the clutter. Let everything that happens come through you without anything staying, causing a block. Stay free. Take your hands together, thumbs to heart center, in a gesture of gratitude that we can feel. And take your thumbs to your lips in a gesture of gratitude that we can express ourselves. And take your thumbs to your third eye at your forehead in a gesture of gratitude that we can connect our bodies with our minds and our spirits. Thank you for joining me this Friday morning. Having fun honoring your practice and your body. I acknowledge each one of you. Namaste. And I'll see you next time.